All right, you're looking at the very first shipment of the COVID Pfizer vaccine to make its way into the ultra cold freezer at St. Luke's Hospital. I feel like I should be hearing the theme to Rocky right about now. You know that entrance song? It's amazing. St. Luke's uh, is the state's largest health system, now holding a total of 975 doses of the Pfizer COVID vaccine with more on the way, by the way, and there's that ultra freezer there. Those vaccines will begin to be administered to St. Luke's frontline workers in the Magic Valley, Meridian and Boise beginning on Friday. On Sunday, when we watched the first shipments go out that was shared nationally, I didn't know I was going to get choked up. Um, just in the last hour, I feel real excited uh, anticipation. Um, I look at all the things that 2020 hasn't been, all the things that we've battled against. Um, really excited about what was approved, the data that's been shared, the information that we have. I, I feel like we're all inspired and we're all really looking forward to, you know, what the vaccine potential is. Yeah, we're all right there with you, Scott. St. Luke says they expect another shipment of 975 doses on Thursday. Hospitals in Wood River, McCall, Cascade will be offering vaccines to its workers beginning next week. And across town, several employees at St. Alphonsus in Boise were administered the very first vaccines in the Treasure Valley. Governor Brad Little was also on hand as those were being distributed, but he did not get the vaccine yesterday during that time. But healthcare workers at Madison Memorial Re Hospital in Rexburg, they were the first Idahoans to get the vaccine yesterday. State is expected to receive its entire first allotment of the Pfizer vaccine by the end of the week, and that equals about 13,650 doses. Right now, there is no set timeline for when the public will have a chance to get the vaccine. The state is reporting that 38 doses have been administered so far, and you can keep track of how many Idahoans have gotten the vaccine. They're marking that on the state's coronavirus website.